authority to bind. Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 and 19. And I also say to you that you are Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail against it. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven. This week as we talk about various ways in which we can exercise the spiritual authority God has given to us today we want to consider authority to bind. It Jesus as he talks uh, as he tells Peter that uh, that he's going to build his church he then continues to say that he will vest the church with the keys of the kingdom of heaven meaning the authority of God's kingdom is vested in the church in God's people. And what will God's people do with their God-given authority? He says, what you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Or you will bind on earth what has been bound in heaven. You you bring to earth what heaven uh, has um, uh, decreed. So he says you bind on earth as what has been bound in heaven. So the church, God's people have been vested with the authority of God's kingdom. to bind now to bind is 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 symbolic or it's representing of tying somebody up that means you are preventing them from acting in a situation you are preventing their activity or their intrusion or their interference or their entrance into a given situation you're binding uh binding them up you're forbidding activity in another place in Matthew chapter 12 verses 27 to 29 Jesus said this if i cast out demons by beelzebub bab by whom do your sons cast them out therefore they shall be your judges but if i cast out demons by the spirit of god surely the kingdom of god has come upon you or how can one enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man and then he will plunder his house the strong man that jesus is referring to here is satan and his demon, demon demons at work and he says you first bind the strong man and then you can destroy you can dismantle his goods so here's the a second way that we exercise authority we exercise authority by binding what demons are doing so you would say like this in Jesus name i bind every work of the devil in this place so if there's confusion happening you say and Jesus name i bind the spirit of confusion if there is a uh, hopelessness despair depression whatever whatever activity you see the devil doing demons doing you say in Jesus name i bind that activity of the devil i bind that spirit that spirit of fear that means you're preventing that spirit from operating it could be in a situation it could be an individual uh, any scenario you bind what the devil is doing learn how to use your authority do it whenever the occasion arises or needs learn to use your authority by binding the activity of demons let's pray lord we thank you for the authority you vested in us help us to use that in the name of Jesus to bind what the enemy is doing to prevent him from acting and then to dismantle to destroy his goods help us to walk in that authority in Jesus name amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org